everybody, um, welcome back to my channel, and today I want to be showing you guys how to build some decoration and mists for your bathroom. So, um, yeah, without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Alright guys, so welcome back to my, um, little area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over here. I'm going to pull out my maker pen. As I've said before, you can do this by either grabbing your back or you can open your watch and pull it, um, from your backpack. So, we're going to point it towards us, open the palette. And I will first start off by building the um, sink area. So I'm going to use a shiny material. Um, and we will use a kind of black. And I'll start a cube maybe like this. And then we'll manipulate that. I'll bring it down like so. Um, kind of like that. And then maybe modify it a bit more. Now I'll clone this, bring it back, make sure it merges so it doesn't look weird. And then we will bring it like so towards the wall. Um, same thing with the other side. We'll basically just kind of move it more like that. And then bring it more inward like that. So um, pretty much like that uh so now we will i'm gonna use a tawny and i'm gonna go over here and we're gonna use a particle board for the like top part of the sink and now i'm going to just slowly bring it a bit down so that it can fit onto this um and then bring it out like so maybe move it a bit more inward now I'll clone it again, like that, bring it kind of like so, move it back, um, and then clone this, and then move it back like that. And now I'm going to use a pipe, because if you use a donut, it looks really weird, so the pipe is the best way to go. Now you want to create a shape that, kind of like that. Um, we will bring this down so it flattens it out. I'm going to make it a kind of like oval shape to make the sink structure. And now we'll bring it down just a tad bit so it merges with our um, sink. Now we'll move this more inward. This can come over. This can come over. And then we can also clone it, and we can bring this up, like that, like so. Um, and then finally, I like to use the wedges, um, mainly because it just looks better. And now we'll take it like so, I'm going to rotate it, and then I'll bring it over here down so it matches and then I will make it um, manipulate it up as so just to kind of get the structure and then whenever I clone it I'm going to mirror it over and then I'll drag it like so and basically what we'll do all the way around is we're just going to mirror the shape pretty much to give the sink structure a well-defined look like so and of course with this you can also clone it down and you can manipulate it to move it a bit down like that um, we'll do a painted wall for the inside and we'll do a white now you want to like try and angle it to where it's just doing this so you can color just that um, and then finally, I'm going to use a hemisphere. We'll create that. And then I'm going to rotate the hemisphere. Like so. Bring it down. Tad bit. With the sink. And then basically, I'm going to manipulate it again. Moving it like so. So it essentially looks... Well, like this. Well, I'm going to be using a tubing, and we'll be using a shiny metal with the color fog. Um, uh, whenever you go over to your settings, uh, we want these ratios. 
smooth tube wants to, uh, you want that to be on and connect tubes as well. So basically, we're going to center it like this. And then we're going to start off like so, gradually building it up more upward, and then moving it maybe, trying to curve it a bit more outward. like so, <clears throat> to build our little sink, and then um, we'll turn off smooth tubing, and we want to turn connect tubing off for this one, I will adjust the height a bit more, and no, actually, we'll just keep it like it is, we're going to find it like so, do that, and then you want to hover over, try and center it again, and this time, hold down a bit more lighter on uh, your thing. So then, um, once you've gotten that down, uh, now you can turn back on connect tubing. And then we can connect it like so. And then you want to turn it back off. And then you want to lightly hold so you build out this line. Turn it back on. So you get this really cool, nice little unique design for the um for like the handles to turn on the water. And then what you want to do is select all of that and you want to mirror it over, basically. And you want to kind of make it look even like that <clears throat> and um, the last thing you might want to do is maybe add a little drain for your um, sink so like one could be maybe right here like so so guys, for the drain, it can be whatever you want it to be. Um, so pretty much, you can just add a uh, circle right there, and boom! <clears throat> Look at that, guys. You got a uh, you just built a little mini sink. All right, guys. So even though we built a mini sink, um, we're still gonna add a bit more detail to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a cube. I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna use wood grain, and then I'm gonna use a um, leather look on it. And now what I'll do is I'm going to start by holding that like so, and then we will be kind of bringing it a bit back so it, you know, flattens out on um, this. And then we can bring it a bit more down like so, a bit up, and then basically clone it, and then try to do your best to center this little block clone it again bring it a bit upward move it more out like so and then clone yet again So pretty much all we're really doing, guys, is we're just cloning and moving this around to match the little square. Um, the only difference is this is a bit, is like one pixel higher. So it pretty much just gives the, um, the shape a bit more depth, like so. Kind of like as you can see here, it just defines and gives it a bit more depth, um, pretty much, so... That's really all it does. Um, but you can also uh, define it a bit more by adding handles. So essentially what we want is I'm going to turn back on smooth tubing. We're going to turn our tube size down and we're just going to keep those the same. And now I'm going to start from like this area. 
and you want to make sure you hold, lightly hold it because lightly holding it just kind of gives it more of a handle feel and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to slowly start going a bit holding harder and I'm going to go back to the holding lighter I'm going to hold hard again and then I'm just going to go completely light like that and now what I'll do is I'll take this and I will mirror it and I'm going to um, do that, like merge it a bit together. And then we'll just move it a bit more, like so. Just to kind of center it a bit with the thing. And then once it's centered, what I want to do is you want to select all of this. And you want to clone it over. And now you just want to move this entire thing a bit to this side. Just to kind of, um, you know, you know, even it out a bit. And then once you think you've evened it out, you can click Done Editing. Or drop your Maker Pen, whichever one you prefer. You've basically just built a sink shower so basically what we will want to do is I'm going to use a white painted wall um, I'll start off with a cube and then basically I'm just going to manipulate this and move it alongside of this area like so move it a bit down flatten it out and then make like you know the little Showerisk area. Actually, let's just go ahead and move this over here. Yeah, that's better. So, pretty much now over here we can get a bit more, you know, bigger results. So, yeah. But, um, so, like that, let's say this is like our little shower area. So, um, what we could do is. We could go to our tube, we could use a shiny metal, and then we can use the, um, we'll use this again. And I'm going to move the size up, like, maybe 8 would be good. I'm going to move up a bit more on this wall. Now I'm going to start off by making, like this, bringing it a bit more outward. And then start by bringing it a bit down, and then making the shower head, like... Like a bit big, you know? So, like. So. And usually, you know, if you don't like, because this part kind of sticks out, what you can do is you can turn off smooth tubing. And uh, you can just kind of tweak it to the size as so. And basically move it to meet up with this part. Then you just even it out. Bring it a bit more down, and there you go. It's like a mini little shower thing for you. Um, and then, well, we don't have to merge it, but you just kind of tweak it a bit and bring it a bit down, like so. And, uh, yeah. And what we can do here is maybe clone this up, click manipulate. We can bring it back and bring this a bit up to match with this. Um, same thing with the other side is we can do that. Manipulate it back. And then bring it over here like so. kind of tweaks it a little bit. Um, then we can probably clone this. Move it a bit like that. Just to kind of give it a bath-like feel. Even though it's not really a bath, but it's whatever. Um, and then we can move it back. Like that. Then 
like so. Um, this wall can probably come up, to be completely honest. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Alright, so, now that we've gotten that, um, we can go back to our thing. We're gonna keep this on. I'm gonna reduce the size of this. I'm gonna turn back on smooth tubing. And, before I do anything, let me go ahead and make this a bit bigger. Alright, so after you've tweaked your little shower area like that, and uh, you've kind of played around and made it whatever size you want, whatever you look, um, let's move that a bit more outward. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to add the little curtain area, so basically we'll start by making this, and then, um, I need to turn back on connect to be. And then once that happens, I will now just move it out like so. And do that. So you have like a little railing for the curtains. And then you can turn up your size. Uh, turn off smooth tubes. Turn your faucets down to maybe like 5. And turn this down like a little bit to like 75. And of course um, you can use whatever color you desire for your little shower thing. Probably going to use a light gray. And then I'm going to turn on... Uh, Cardboard. We'll do cardboard, because cardboard's fun. So, what I'm going to do is, actually, before I do that, let's go ahead and turn this up a bit, so we can just make it a bit better. Um, so now we're just going to start from position, move it down, like so, maybe curve it a bit more inward to get the uh, curtain feel, and then just basically sway it until you reach around the bottom and then over here I'll probably do uh, just a straight line down pretty much I did that again I'm gonna take these and we're going to clone them and we're just gonna move them in until it covers all that the uh, visible the visibility of the shower so And then what I'm going to do is I'll select these, and then I will uh, mirror them, and I will move them over to this side as well, like so. And yeah, using I'll stick with cardboard. I'm going to put on a black. I'm going to turn my faucet back up to 10. I'm going to use my 2 pi ratio back up. I'll turn that down the We'll keep that at A, actually. Um, mm, mm. Then I'm going to come about down here. I'll hold it all the way. And I will do that for maybe a mini drain. Um, like that. Um, also, now that we've got like our little drain, we can turn back on smooth tubes. Um, we'll do two. And then I will be making like a little holder for uh, some soap and shampoo. So maybe like this wall will be fine. So I'm going to cut out like so. Bring it a bit over like this. And then basically I'll take these lines. And I'm just going to... And uh, clone them and even them out. Like so. And one way to make this process faster is if you select your um, little things you're building and you clone them all and you just even like one side out. And then you can do it again. Just uh, be careful with excessive cloning, because something like that can happen where it might not suit your standards or needs, and 
not be cloned um, on that side, but uh, yeah, so you can see it. It looks it looks fine for now. So um, now that you've gotten that down, uh, we're gonna keep smooth tubing on. I will be using like maybe a uh, I'm gonna use a light green for this one. Um, I'll probably go back to cardboard as well. And then what I'll do is I'm going to turn the ratio down a bit, like that. I'm going to turn this up to 4, because, you know, shampoo bottles are kind of, like, thin. So basically, I'm just going to hold this up, make it go here. And then I'm going to turn off connect tubing. We're going to go back to colors, and the lids, while well, I like them to be white, they can be whatever. And then if you want to, you can... It doesn't matter how big or small they have to be, so I'm gonna do like a small one, and I'll make it look like that. So pretty much now you got like a mini realistic shampoo bottle, so you can clone it over, bring it a bit down, just so they match. And if you want to make this one different, you can recolor it whatever uh, color you'd like. So like I'll do maybe a dark red, like that. And then, um, the last thing we'll probably need to make is maybe a bar of soap. So, the bar of soap is just as easy as those. Pretty much you'll do the same thing. You'll just kind of use that, and it will be a bit thinner, like that. And, right there, there is, um, your little shower decoration. Alright guys, so moving on for the um, for the toilet, we will be using tubing again. Um, I'm going to make this 100% and we're going to turn our faucet up pretty high. Um, I will start over here, we'll bring it up a bit, like so, and then I will start by shrinking it down a bit more and bringing this up <clears throat> because toilets are usually like, um, you know, kind of, they have like a little stem that goes on them, and then I can bring this up a bit, like that, I'm gonna move this a bit more outward, because, you know, they got like a little oval shape, and if you need to, you can clone it, and like, move it a bit inward, if you want to or need to so um and then i'm going to turn this down to four and then we'll turn off the smooth tube i'm gonna make this like th this shape and then i'll bring this up a little bit like so and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this i'm gonna split shape i'm gonna take it and then i'm gonna size it up like that and then I'll bring it a bit down again just so it's got like the uh, nice little angle to it and like so um, and then I'll be going back in like this turn it back to 100 we'll do 10 for the size for the faucets um, and then the little lid itself uh, I'll make a bit darker gray And we want to just flatten this out, like so. Now we'll move this over to this area. And then we'll move it up a bit until it covers all of it. And then I'll clone this over. And then we'll merge this into that, like so. Um. So, yeah. I will also do this. I will clone this down as well. And I will be moving it more upward. I'm going to manipulate it, so I'm going to move it into the seat, and I'll recolor that to white, 
essentially. Then I'll clone it back. And then we'll move this more up like that. Inward. Just to get, well, this little shape. Um, and then the last thing we're going to need is the little handle for it. So we'll use metal again. I'll be using smooth tubes. Um, I will turn this down a little bit. And then the handle will go maybe right about here. Connect tube will come on. I'll turn it back off for a little bit. Just so I can make this part extend outward. Then we can turn it back on again. Just to kind of give it a bit more detail like so. And um, last but not least. One thing I do want to do for the top lid. Just to give it a bit more detail. Um, you guys can continue using tubing if you'd like. Or if you want to you can use a square. And you can kind of size it a bit down, like this, extend it outward, because usually the lid is a bit larger than, well, the thing itself. So it extends out more, um, like that. And of course I have to recolor it to that color, so it fits the little theme of the um, commode. What we'll probably build will be um, the towel. So we'll do the same thing. We'll make a we'll make the handles like we always did. It'll go on this wall. We will start by making this a bit small. Then we'll move it inward. And we'll move this like so. Um then I will get a ribbon. We'll move it up like so. over and down and what I'm going to do with this you might ask well size it up and then move it down so it looks like it's hanging off of that and then I'll clone it over I'll move it a bit more inward, and then I'm gonna use like maybe a uh, little brown color and carpet, and I'll recolor both of these like so. And then I'm going to even it out just to basically give me my little towel shape. And of course, last but not least, um, we cannot forget the toilet paper. So essentially I'm going to be using a white and we'll be using a cylinder. So basically we're going to go to materials and I'll be using cardboard as well. Um, just to kind of give it a more whitened feel. And essentially uh, what we can do is rotate this like so. And then we'll move it back to like this wall. Move it a bit down. We'll scale it down um, a bit like that. And like all the other ones, we'll build a little handle for it so it can kind of stick out of the wall. So I'll be going back to using the gray. Um, connect tubes and all that on. And we'll start off by making that a bit big. I'm going to turn off connect tubing. And then I'll make this come out of the wall. Turn it back on, and then I'll bring it out a bit here, like that. Like so. And of course, if it doesn't well, look right, you can always adjust it and move it down. Like so. And for the finishing touch, um, I will be turning this to white and cardboard just to make it have a little, you know, dangling piece of toilet paper off of it. Like that. 
Alright guys, so now the one thing I do want to try building um, is the mirror, so I'm going to turn this uh, all the way down to 10. Um, this will be 4, I'm going to turn smooth tubing off, and what I'm going to do is I will um, we'll use a metallic, uh, I guess we can stick with this for now. So I'm going to kind of make it go up a little bit like that. And then I'm going to get some wood, and now we're going to just kind of um, add around the edges of the area, so to say. like so and once you've gotten something like this now we click scale and we just basically scale it up like that and now we can move it towards the wall and then move it up a little bit like so and if you want to you can kind of clone it so you got two of them now pretty much so yeah and now because it's got a little reflective thing it kind of acts and looks like a mirror and of course guys, if you want to, you can add more decoration to your bathroom, if you please, whatever you feel as though uh, is needed. I just basically taught you um, the basics to the thing, like mirrors, the sink, a, ba a regular toilet, um, some toilet paper, you know, shower stuff, and a towel. But I mean, there's a lot more you can do to your bathroom, and I'm looking forward to the designs you guys um, might come up with in the near future for your rooms. Did help you guys in some way? Um, please consider liking. Also, subscribe to the channel. It uh, greatly helps um, and gets our content out there. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you cuties in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>